Apart from the most common type of injury accidents, which I think we've all heard about, which are automobile accidents, probably the second most common type of injury accident that people come to us with is either a slip and fall or trip and fall accident that results in a serious injury. Those are generally referred to as premises liability cases. Those all carry with them different challenges based upon where those accidents take place. They can either take place on private property, a homeowner's property, a commercial property like a supermarket or grocery store, or governmental property like a sidewalk or other public property. Each of them, as I mentioned, has its own challenges in terms of what has to be proven to establish responsibility. This video will focus on the challenges that we have in co the commercial setting. When someone might go to a grocery store or a supermarket, slip and fall or trip and fall and suffer serious injury. Most people who suffer injury on a property like that, whether it's a grocery store, a sidewalk, or, a, or someone's home, assume understandably that if they're injured on somebody else's property, that property owner is responsible for the injuries that result. And unfortunately, although we wish that was the case, it's not always the case. There are some really significant challenges that any lawyer and any plaintiff who's injured in those kind of accidents has to overcome and prove in order to recover. With respect to commercial property, the biggest challenge beyond proving that something was unreasonably dangerous is to prove that that condition existed for a sufficient period of time that the property owner can remedy it or give adequate notice. And the example, uh, the most basic one, is if you're in a grocery store and you slip and fall on some liquid in an aisle or on a grape that's fallen from a, a produce cart, you slip and fall, you injure yourself. The challenge in that case is to prove that the property owner knew or should have known of that condition for a long enough period of time that they could fix it or give you warning of it. And that's a very challenging thing because there's customers up and down those aisles. Oftentimes it's difficult to prove where the material came from and how long it was there. And that's just one example of the many challenges that we have as lawyers representing people like you who have been injured in these types of cases to be able to recover. We've got to prove those things by evidence and we've got to, to be able to do it in a persuasive way. So just remember that if you are injured in an accident like that, it's important that you get an experienced lawyer that knows how to prove these things, how to win these cases, and recover for you an adequate and fair compensation for the harms and damages that you've suffered as a result of your accident.